All right, Van, uh, how long have you been purchasing E85? Uh, probably, it seems like almost as long as it's been out. I'm not sure exactly how long that's been. Did uh, the availability and affordability uh, influence the purchase of your vehicle? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I wanted a flex fuel, fuel vehicle. I don't know that I would have gotten uh, another vehicle without it being a flex fuel. Okay. What has the uh, price discount of E85 meant to you and your household? Well, uh, I guess that's uh, a big part of buying it, although I just like the fact that uh, I feel like I'm supporting Iowa, and uh, when I drive that car down a highway and I can look at a cornfield out there, I kind of smile. That's right, that's right. Okay, according to a recent Iowa State study, without ethanol blends, a motorist would be paying about $1.37 more per gallon. Um, that adds up to an additional $1,900 a year for the, for the typical Iowa household. What would you give up if you had to cut $1,900 from your budget? <laughs> Boy, I don't know, but I mean, the main message out of that is we got to get more people to understand that and hear about it and know about it uh, because there are a lot of forces that are on the other side that are trying to either suppress that or make people believe that's not true. So I guess that's the main thing I would think about what you just said.